gay senators have courage, breaks down in tears at, as he apologizes to trans people for GOP colleagues. Nebraska State Senator John Fredrickson broke down in tears this week as he apologized to transgender people for Republican state senators' vicious attack and disgusting comments about trans people. Transgender people have been targeted by the religious right and Republican politicians um, repeatedly in recent years, both in the state and at the federal level. But in Nebraska, the GOP has been particularly vicious when Fredrickson took to the podium to speak as a member of the LGBTQ plus community. He spoke directly to trans Nebraskans saying, heads up, chins up, we are survivors. A filibuster is a tactic used in U.S. Senate to delay or block a vote on a measure by preventing debate on its from in, uh, debate on it from ending. This was part of the longest filibuster in Nebraska's history to stop the anti-trans legislation. To my LGBTQ family, I spoke to you at the beginning of the week, and I'll speak to you again. Regardless of what happens today, heads up, chins up, we're survivors. Me standing in this room is proof of that. Colleagues. This is an opportunity for courage. Some of us in this room have to practice courage every day showing up here. Please be courageous. With that, I'll withdraw my motion. So watching that video, my first thought is why he's the only one that is apologizing, right? For something like that has happened. And you know, it just goes back to what we was talking about earlier, you know, and I don't, I hate to be like someone that is always pointing out like what's wrong, you know, what do we see, but how do we really educate our communities on doing better. And I'm glad that he stood up, you know, and he apologized. But I feel like there should have been more apologies to follow, not just him apologizing. Yeah, we need, <laughs> we take his apologies, yeah. I love yes. it. We need more lawmakers to get aggressive with their advocacy for our community. We need them to stand up in those state houses and take up space and remind people of what's at stake because there's an awful lot at stake for all of us. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, our civil rights are at stake. Our rights as human beings are at stake. And we're actually being used as a political ploy between two parties that basically want to take the White House and are dividing the country. Mm -hmm. And in the process of this division of country, they're, you know, scapegoating the trans community, the transgender community, the non-binary community. I personally think it's out of fear, not because we're weak, but because right. we're as strong as we are. And because if you look at statistics, of how many of the American youth are setting forth and telling their parents they're LGBTQ, they're afraid because what they're labeling as their enemies lives right in their home. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.